In this video, we'll talk about passive constructions and how we draw them in X-bar theory. So I haven't really shown any of these sentences before, but there are two different types of sentences. There's active sentences, like the soldiers destroyed the city, and then there's passive sentences, like the city was destroyed by the soldiers. In this case, of course, we have an agent and a theme in the active sentence, but in the passive sentence, we really just have a theme and the agent by the soldiers is optional. So we don't really need this phrase in order for the sentence to be okay. But in the active phrase, of course, we can't just say destroyed the city as a sentence or the soldiers destroyed as the sentence. So we know that these two kinds of sentences are related, which means there's probably some movement going on. But how do we motivate that movement? What does that movement look like in trees? Well, let's take a look at some theta grids for verbs. And there's an active form of each verb and a passive form. For instance, the active of kiss takes an agent and a theme, like John kissed Mary. But the passive, Mary was kissed, only takes a theme. In this case, we can say that the passive absorbs accusative case and also the agent theta role. So this should say agent theta role. So what's happening here is kiss gives nominative and accusative. Well, kiss itself doesn't give nominative. T gives nominative to agent. But in the passive, first it loses the agent. So the agent goes away. And then the verb no longer gives accusative case. And this will force the theme to move up in the tree to get case. Let's take a look at an example. The soldier kissed the puppy. So this is the active version of the sentence. And I'm just going to point this out quickly. First of all, the soldier is the agent of kissed. So it moves up to spec TP. It gets nominative case. And of course, the puppy is the theme of kissed and gets accusative case from kissed. This is a pretty straightforward tree. These are like the ones we've seen so far. Now the passive, the puppy was kissed. Two things to note. First of all, there's no agent. So the spec VP does not exist. There's no agent to give. The second thing is that kiss is minus accusative, meaning that the puppy can't get case from kiss. So right now the puppy is the theme, but it has no case. So what does it do? Well, it moves up to spec TP to get nominative case. So now we have the puppy up in spec TP and this is now a trace. So the puppy is still the theme, but now it gets nominative case from T. And of course, another important thing that I haven't mentioned yet is we have this passive phrase in the tree. So passive phrase, pass P, pass bar, goes into passive and a VP. And of course, this pass carries the passive morphology that goes down to kiss to make it kissed. And of course, we also have was here, which moves up to T to get tense. Okay, so that is how we do the passives with trees. And if we want to have the optional by the soldier, then we make it an adjunct of kiss. So kissed by the soldier, in which case we would have intermediate V bar. And of course, then we'd have the PP here by the soldier. So we can even look at this with another sentence. The puppy was kissed by the child. So some things I note here are that we already have the puppy, which is the theme, being kissed, moving up to spec TP to get nominative case, and we've introduced by the child as an adjunct to kissed. Because this is optional, therefore we should be treating it as an adjunct. But then the question is, this DP, the child, it also needs case. And it does get case. It gets prepositional case by the head of the preposition P. So we can't say the puppy was kissed the child doesn't make sense. But if we say the, the puppy was kissed by the child, then we can say that by gives prepositional case to the child and everything is good. And we don't see movement here. 
So this is one of those things that is a very common question. And I'm going to go back a couple slides here. Then we say, when we make the passive, shouldn't this thing right here, shouldn't this agent, which is now optional, move somewhere to be in the adjunct? Because wouldn't that make more sense if we did it like that? And seem, it seems as if that should be the case. But we don't really ever get case cases of nouns moving into adjuncts. That's a little bit weird. And then also the way that the theta rolls work out, mm, there's not really a good argument for it. And I'll see if I can find some resources that better explain things. They're a little bit more complicated than what I've presented so far in the lecture series, so it's a little bit harder to talk about why these happen, but I may include a video a little bit later that shows in more detail why we don't have DP lowering into adjunct clauses in the passivization cases. But anyways, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.